Good morning and welcome to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. This morning, we'll take some time to learn more about a couple of nonprofit organizations in our community and special event that they've planned that you can take part in. My first guest represents a nationwide community-based voluntary health organization dedicated to eliminating cancer as a major health problem. Jennifer Washington McMurray is the health systems manager for the American Cancer Society Incorporated Midwest Division. How are you, Jennifer? Hello there. And I should say welcome back Thank to the show. You, yes, you have been be here before. Back. Yep. Yes. And the American Cancer Society, of course, has a number of programs and services that you offer to people in the community from helping them manage treatment to helping provide emotional support. So let's start off talking about some of the things that you offer uh, there at the American Cancer Society. Well, my primary work works very closely with our federally qualified health care centers here in Milwaukee. That'll be like Milwaukee. Health Services Inc., um, Progressive, Isaac Coggs. We work very closely with these community um, organizations to help increase education and screenings among our underserved community, mm -hmm. which we know is very important. But we go beyond just um, the screenings and the education because we do know that cancer is affecting everyone Absolutely. so we want to be there for those who are diagnosed with cancer and so we offer roads to recovery that is a program that actually um, is ran by our um, or supported I should say by our volunteers and again I guess I should also uh, plug in that American Cancer Society is a volunteer or, uh, organization we could not do it without our volunteers we really truly appreciate it so our our Roads to Recovery program um, has our volunteers that drive individuals to their treatment because you can't drive, wow. you know, and that's completely volunteering. We also have um, uh, programs, of course, our, our Relay for Lives and uh, fundraising is very important because that goes towards our research as well. Um, we have our Look Good, Feel Better program. That's where we have our, our cosmetologist of Milwaukee that works very closely with us to design wigs for cancer patients. And then they take the time out to teach these patients on um, uh, beauty tips because they do lose their hair, they mm -hmm. lose their eyebrows, they lose their, their, their eyelashes. And you know that's very important. It's especially to women. Yeah. So we make sure that, you know, they understand that they're beautiful inside and out. So we all we work with, you know, uh cancer patients along with our volunteers and cosmetologists as well. I love that yeah. and what's really important as well is the fact that you not only work with those patients who have been diagnosed but you also work with their families yes. and caregivers because yes. we do know that once a person is diagnosed with any type of cancer it really does affect those around the them so uh, people can call you guys up with any questions or concerns. Yes. You have a cancer helpline yes. and that number is 1-800-227 2345 and I uh, wanted to talk about you mentioned uh, fundraisers that mm -hmm. you do each and every mm -hmm. year there's a long list of them mm -hmm. but there are a couple of coming up uh, yeah. making strides against breast cancer that walk is on May 6th that's a lot of fun <laughs> yes it is that's when you see us down by the lakefront and we're in all of our pink and you know that's just right around the corner that's actually yeah. the week after Sankofa but we are still taking teams and that um, relay is focusing, or that walk, I should mm -hmm. say, is focusing on breast cancer. That's right. why we're all in pink. But then we also have another relay that takes place, is Relay for Life. And that one, you our colors are purple, but that covers all cancers. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the unique things about American Cancer Society. We don't only focus on breast cancer, which is very, very important, right. but we cover all cancers because we know that there are other cancers that are affecting the community colon cancer prostate cancer lung cancer um, so uh, my mother she passed away from pancreatic cancer mm -hmm. so we cover all cancers at the relay for life and, and again both of those um, events are uh, wonderful event fundraising events and relay for life actually takes place not only in Milwaukee okay of course we know it's a national event mm -hmm. but in Wisconsin we have several relays that's another thing that's very so unique. even the small 
small suburbs absolutely, have their own Absolutely, well. yeah. Kenosha has theirs, Racine, Madison. So no matter where you live at, I encourage you to get in touch with your um, the, 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 the teams in your area and we will be there. Okay, and the Relay for Life is for Milwaukee. For Milwaukee. It's June 17th and every April, the American Cancer Society and other organizations mm -hmm. actually work together to raise awareness about uh, the cancer and other health concerns yes. in the minority community. So April is National Minority Health Month. So uh, you did mention Sankofa, and that of is I your did. huge <laughs> event that's coming up on April 29th. And what our viewers at home would be happy to know is yeah. that it's absolutely free and open to the public. Absolutely free. You're absolutely correct. And a lot of fun. This is our 13th year, so I'm very 13 excited. Years. 13 years. Wow. And, and, and um, we're holding it at North Division High School, Saturday, April 29th. Doors open at 9 o'clock promptly. We offer free, healthy, continental breakfast and we um, provided by Aurora and then we also have a wonderful healthy lunch that's provided by the Big Easy restaurant yeah you're making me hungry you know I that. know <laughs> I know how you like to eat but you like to eat healthy so it's gonna be I made try. With, I'm trying to I'm trying to work with you here it will be made with chicken and um, turkey sausage but just so delicious and very flavorful also we're going to have vendors as mm -hmm. you mentioned um, health organization vendors are going to be there from um, the community offering different types of screenings and information our fairly qualified health care centers are going to be there we're going to even be offering um, uh, Columbia St. Mary's Ascension, the mammogram mobile will be there offering mammograms. They do need to call and register. Okay. So they need to call Columbia St. Mary's Ascension for that. Um, we're going to also have a head and um, uh, throat screening for cancer, and I think that's really you unique. Yeah, right, you're right there. We haven't had that before. Um, but as well as uh, uh, high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, HIV, we're going to have those type of things that are available as well because that strongly affects our community. Absolutely, and uh, that's a mouthful, of course, and uh, it really is one of those situations where it's a win-win for everyone because yes. all of these outstanding organizations that are uh, in the Milwaukee area have an opportunity to let people know yes. that they exist yes. and that they are there to help and uh, it's also a win when people can show up and mm -hmm. expect breakfast and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, we're yeah. coming together, and we have in the, in the uh, past year, years, um, as far as organizations here in Milwaukee to bring awareness to, you know, health disparities, and that's something we're going to be taking a very close look at at Sankofa. So now, normally, you know, we 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 encourage and educate people about the importance of mammograms and and and, and um, taking care of your children, you know, things like that, but. We know that there are challenges in getting to the doctor. Mm -hmm. There may be um, problems with, uh, it, you know, health. Uh, excuse me, like like educational mm -hmm. type of challenges or uh, unemployment or financial challenges. We want to address those issues. So we want the, the theme this year is overcoming barriers mm. to healthy living. So not only are we focusing on the importance of healthy living and getting your screenings and things done, but we want to address some of those other issues as well. So we're excited that beyond just our health organizations that we're going to have there, we're going to have some actual job opportunities. So we have some employment agencies that are be there offering jobs. Good stuff. I and know. you have uh, a panel discussion that you've set up as yes. well. And these are some heavy hitters in the community that are going to be there to uh, kind of talk about uh, what they are doing yes. from their standpoint yes. to help make a difference. Yes, absolutely. Our panel discussion will consist of Commissioner Bevan Baker, mm -hmm. um, Dennis Walton from the Fatherhood Initiative, um, as well as um, State Senator, State Lena, Senator Taylor. Lena Taylor. You know, we love her. She's mm -hmm. a power powerhouse as well but of course we have to have uh, a doctor on the panel okay that, that is a health uh, affair so we're gonna have Dr. Aronica Williams from MHSI on the panel as well so yeah absolutely a very powerful and we want the community to come out with their questions 
so that they can get answered. Because once we can answer the questions and address the issues that they're facing, whether, like, again, like I said, whether it's financial or employment, or maybe they're having challenges with their children in school, housing, how about that? Mm -hmm. That's a huge issue. And, you know, um, I just read a book called Eviction. Oh, yeah. Just really, mm -hmm, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll do another show on that. <laughs> but um, they really highlighted. Milwaukee more specifically about the eviction rate among the underserved community and that just opened up my eyes completely as well as many of my co-workers because we need to understand what they're dealing with prior to trying to get them in for screenings. They have a lot of issues and things that they're dealing with on the table and once we address those then we can open up their mind space to, take, to have a more healthier living and that's why we're changing our, and or expanding to mention, our resources. Yes. You talk about the fact that someone would be dealing with a possible eviction or unemployment. All those things add to stress yes. which add to other scenarios like high blood pressure, high blood heart pressure. attacks, whatever the Thank case you. may yes. be. So stroke, yes. I mean Yes. Uh, it all ties in Definitely hand does. in hand, unfortunately, and uh, it's always interesting how we have individuals who come from uh, other parts of the United States yes. and plant themselves in Milwaukee mm -hmm. and then are able mm -hmm. to uh, put together books and documentaries to kind of open our eyes That's to absolutely. what's going on in our very Well, they're coming city. with open eyes, right? Yeah, they're yeah. coming from outside in and taking a look mm -hmm. at it. When you've kind of been here for a while, you might get a little bit more, you know, adjusted to the situation but our eyes are open yeah. and we are working together and the, the, the different organizations will be here at the health fair. I'm so very excited, including you know I have to mention the kids zone. Yes. I'm so very excited <laughs> about this kids zone. This is something new. So we want to tell people, please, please, please bring your children, bring your grandchildren, bring your neighbors, bring your church youth group. Um, we ha we are partnering with Betty Brand Museum, and they are hosting our Kids Zone, I love and it. they have a lot of wonderful activities planned. And what I'm really excited about is that they're offering a one-year membership to every family that's that's eligible. Doesn't matter how many kids you have. So each parent, and I don't care if you have one kid, two kids, five kids, everyone gets a membership, a oh. one-year membership. Now they have to qualify. They have to watch a video of education, but that is phenomenal. I don't know if you've ever been to the Betty Brim yes. Museum, but it's beautiful. So I know they are very avid about um, partnering and getting the community involved. Yeah, and Betty Brin's uh, Children's Museum, they basically yes. are dedicated to giving hands-on educational things, dealing with cognitive skills, yes. fundamental, emotional, all the way across There's the board. Be so much so, hands-on. That's a I great see you partnership. Come in there. I think you can fit in and do some hands-on <laughs> stuff, Andrea. Yeah, I'm going to pull you on well, out. Well, before mm -hmm. we run out of time, Ooh. I know there are some gospel fans out there, and I guess Ooh. I tried to save the best for last. Yes. You've got gospel recording artist Pastor Smokey Norfolk coming yes. to this year's event. That's huge. That is huge. We are so excited about having Pastor Smokey Norfolk. And that is going to take place during our program hour. So our program is going to start at 10 o'clock and mm -hmm. it's going to end at 12 o'clock. So they have to come. I'm not going to even say when he's going to perform <laughs> because I want them to get the education as well. But yes, Smokey Norfolk will be with us and we are so very excited. So we want to encourage Milwaukee to please come out in big numbers so that we can support this event. And we're also giving away door prizes all day long. I love yes. it. You have really outdone yourself, well, Jennifer. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And of course, I should mention uh, Pastor Smokey Norfolk is a Grammy Award winning, yes. international renowned musician, composer, and recording artist. Uh, popular songs that come to mind is I Need You Now. Yes. And the other one is No Greater Love. So, there you go. Yeah, people. Uh, uh, definitely are familiar with him. It's mm -hmm. going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. We have some local entertainment as well going okay. on, but we are so excited about having Pastor Smokey Norfolk. And I just say it again because I want we don't want anybody to come and say I didn't know he was here. <laughs> Now they it's know. all being sponsored by Kohl's, and this is another outstanding partnership that uh, you guys have done because you're going to be working with them for your Healthy Families program. Yes. So people should keep their eyes and ears open. So do you for see that. how it all connects? I healthy love it. families and all of the resources that are going to be there, including the children and the healthy breakfast yes. and the lunch. Yes. Okay. Good all job. Right. Very Thank good you. job. And Kohl's really does care. So. <laughs>
<laughs> and so does American Cancer Society. Exactly. <laughs> well, I thank you so much. And I'll give everybody the details once again. The American Cancer Society Sankofa Health and Wellness Forum is happening on Saturday, April 29th at North Division High School from 9 until 2. It's free and open to the public if you want it ask any questions, the number to call is 1-877-940-7848. And I thank you so much, Miss Jennifer, for coming by. Thank you. And see you there. It's great information. People are looking forward to it, I know. Jennifer Washington McMurray is the Health Systems Manager for the American Cancer Society Incorporated Midwest Division. For more information on the American Cancer Society and all that they offer to the community, you can visit their website at cancer.org. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll switch our focus to a nonprofit faith-based organization that's committed to finding solutions to the social, economic, and spiritual problems facing urban Milwaukee. We'll talk to representatives from Pastors United right after this. <laughs> 